telling her in her present mood. I really couldn't apologize more. I should have let you know I couldn't make the interview. Why don't you see out the rest of your booking, which is, what, two weeks, and then trot off to another NHS trust? Good luck with that. Right, can I have everyone's attention, please? Obviously, again, we're stretched way, way beyond capacity, so let's see patients fast, diagnose them quickly, and access ambulatory pathways where appropriate. Dr. Hudson, assist Dr. Gardner in recess, and Dr. Noble, you can go to minors, seeing as you don't need the practice. Ouch. And back to her office. If this carries on, you could leave without her knowing. Yeah. You know Dr. Hudson, all under control? Yep. Don't worry, he's in good hands. He is. He really is. Uh, this way. Good to have you back. It's good to be back. Um, Mrs. Beecham, I was wondering if you have a second. I... No, I don't. Dr. Gardner, I understand you were looking for me. Spring cleaning. It's got to be done. All right, come on, spit it out. What do you actually want to say? Connie, I'm leaving. I was approached for a job. The offer came through this morning. They would like me to start in two weeks. I see. Well, congratulations. Really? Well, life goes on, doesn't it, so... OK. Yes. Yes, it does. Connie, I... I thought you'd be, I don't know, disappointed, angry. And that pleasure's reserved for someone else. Ah, Dr Noble. Well, obviously, you'll be wanting to hang on to him. I don't want to do that. Because of what happened with Toby, the prom. It's Aaron McKinnon, 15 years old. About an hour ago, some timber landed on his leg. His GCS has been 15 throughout, all scored 20. He's now 100 up. Dr. Noble, it's um, us too. Dr. Noble, I believe this is yours. Right, yeah. Thanks. Crazy day. Too crazy? No. I like crazy. My office, 9am sharp tomorrow. Last chance. <laughs> <laughs>